Hi there, and welcome back to Pitch of Cooking. Did you know that you can make soft pretzels from store-bought fresh pizza dough? And not only that, it works well with the gluten-free pizza dough and regular wheat pizza dough. And since my kids are gluten-free, I will show you today how to make pretzels from Trader Joe's gluten-free fresh pizza dough. Their pizza doughs are in the large refrigerator next to the raviolis, dips, and cold cuts. And this is what the gluten-free package looks like. Before using it, we're going to leave it on the counter and let it come to room temperature. This is a one pound piece of dough that I will cut into eight pieces. And this will make really cute eight pretzels. If you want larger pretzels, just cut it into less larger pieces. We're going to cut it in half. Then we're going to cut it in quarters and eight. We want to end up with eight equal size sticks. Now we'll take each one of these little lugs and roll it out as thin as we can. We want the ends to be thinner than the middle. This dough is a little tougher than other doughs, so do be patient with it and I promise you it will cooperate and you will end up with a pliable long strip. My pizza dough rope is now ready for shaping. So we take two long ends of the rope, cross them over to form a circle underneath it, fold them over each other one more time, and then bend them over the circle, lightly pressing on all the folds to make sure that the ends are attached to the actual pretzel. Continue with the same steps for all eight pretzels and let's go on to the next part. I have here my saute pan filled with boiling water. I'm going to go ahead and salt it and add one teaspoon of baking soda. Gently place the pretzels into the boiling water. We're working with only a few at a time so the pretzels don't touch each other in the water. Once they're in the water, gently nudge them to make sure they're not stuck to the bottom and wait for about a minute for them to start floating up. Once they start floating up, just gently lift them out of water onto your baking pan. You could use either cooking tongs or a large slotted spoon. Line them all up on a nonstick baking pan. I'm using a silicon mat. And now brush them really well from all the sides with melted butter. I'm using salted butter for this. Half of my family likes their pretzels with salt and half without, so I'm gonna use these large sea salt flakes to put on four of them. So place them in the oven and bake them at 400 degrees Fahrenheit, 200 degrees Celsius for 18 minutes. Mine are ready and they're a beautiful golden color. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this recipe and please let me know what you think about it in the comments.